Dear friends, we're assembled here in the presence of God and in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to unite Paul Asensi and Laura Casterline in marriage. Dear Laura, I believe that God has brought us together through some profound way. I was a lost boy and you were a heartbroken girl, but God was always there looking over us. Dear Paul, I look back on our memories over the past six years and I can't believe this day is finally here. You are truly the love of my life and I believe God planned for our paths to cross at just the right time. Throughout the Bible, God speaks of the honor and the sacredness of marriage. A couple should look upon marriage as the highest earthly commitment that you could ever make to another person. When I was writing this speech and trying to think of what I wanted to talk about, I was reminiscing on the past 13 years that I've known Laura. And it wasn't the big events, like prom or graduation, that came to mind first. It was the smaller moments with Laura that I look back on and smile. I remember when I realized how much I absolutely loved being around you. That summer of 2013, every single time, I know you were going to be somewhere I wanted to be there too. I felt so drawn to you, and like I said, looking back now, I know God played a role in that. I needed you and you needed me in two different unique ways. Since that summer, my love has grown for you more and more. You are my sunshine, you fill me with joy. I love you, Laura Louise Castellan, your soon-to-be husband, Paul. I can't imagine ever loving you more than I do on this day. You are going to make an amazing husband and one day an amazing father. I love you so much. See you at the altar. God said in the first book of the Bible, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. Laura, I've seen you as a quite an organized and disciplined person. And that's been very evident today, but also just in many other aspects. And Paul, I've appreciated your adaptability. For those of you who don't know me, I am Dave Drzdowski, Paul's best friend. It is my honor today to be his best man. Paul and I have been best friends since about eighth grade. We were 13 years old at the time, so if you consider how old we are now, pretty old. Um, that's about half of our lives. God is a perfect lover. He demonstrated to us what love really is. The primary difference between how the world defines love and how God defines love is really one word, and that's action. Laura, I take you to be my wife. Paul, I take you to be my husband. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. I promise with the help of God to be a loving and faithful husband. To be a loving and faithful wife. I will protect you, provide for you. I will cherish you, serve you. And care for you as long as we both shall live. to have Laura as my best friend. She's the most genuine, honest, and loyal friend I could ever wish for. If you ask any of the girls that were standing by her today, they tell you Laura is just as much your friend to your face as she is behind your back. And she truly sticks up for the people that she cares about. I've known Paul for about 14 years now, and I've never seen happier than I have with you, Laura. You have turned my goofball friend into a man making him a responsible and more serious version of himself. As you grow in your marriage and your love, remember these few things. Life can get busy. Don't forget to take time to focus on each other and enjoy the little things you both love doing together. Love each other unconditionally and never lose that spark of joy you have when you're together. I love you both so much and I'm so happy you found each other. As a servant and minister of Jesus Christ, and by the authority of the state of Pennsylvania, I pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, man must not sever. So Paul, you may now kiss your bride. So 
And now it's my great joy and pleasure to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Paul Asensio.